Well hi there guys, Mark here and welcome today to a review on the Kukurin G2 Max electric scooter. Stay tuned and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Okay guys, so welcome to a review on the G2 Max. So what we do, we just run through all the specifications first of all. Then we'll take it for a little test ride on some sort of gravel tracks, similar to this. Then we'll go down to Pool Harbour and just ride on some tarmac cycleways and finish off at the end with the final thoughts. So price on these, coming in at around about £630 UK. So that's €740. Euros. I will put the link in the description for you comes very well boxed also comes with um, good instructions tools charger comes with a seat as well which is a nice touch so battery on this is a 48 volt 20 amp hour battery that takes about 10 hours to charge from flat overnight top speed is quoted as around about 55 kilometers an hour 34 miles an hour top speed which is a nice top speed for a sort of scooter of this sort of price I have had it up to an, an easy 30 miles an hour so I don't dispute that claim of top speed so it's a rear drive motor on this 1000 watts IP54 splash proof rated and they're quoting around about 70 kilometers range capable of tackling 30 degree slopes we'll try that out a bit later on and the weight is claimed as 31 kilos and I've picked it up quite easily with the stem folded down so to fold the stem down it's very easy you just undo this here and pull this knob out and then that folds down and then you've got a little catch here which clicks into here so good folding mechanism on it So we've got 10 inch pneumatic tyres, dual purpose tyres which are good because you can go off road as well. They roll very smoothly on both tarmac and gravel. I do like this style of suspension where the spring shock is in there rather than the sort of shocks that are here. Um, it's also preload adjustable, you can turn that there. Mechanical disc brakes on this, front and rear that are nice and strong more than adequate for this sort of performance so to switch it on just turn the key hold the power button for a couple of seconds that powers up the um, LCD dash on the dash you can see volts battery lights on trip meter odometer you also got three power modes on this so it starts off in power one which does about 10 miles an hour power two power three is 30 miles an hour we've got lights indicators and a horn so nice LED lights front and rear got a brake light as well so these bars here they're adjustable and just simply pull that out there and you can adjust it with three different heights on the stem here of the handlebars what I do like is this rubber deck pad plenty of grip lots of room there you can put your foot back there if you need to the scooter feels very stable at speed there's no squeaks or rattles or anything like that comes with a thumb throttle 
which is very smooth in operation nice rubber grips that fit your hands nicely but just working around the scooter initial sort of first impressions very decent build quality can't see anything that looks poor on it suspension works well it's very smooth running the power's good on it I think for the for the money it's a very good scooter with decent performance okay let's do the test ride try this out G2 Max so we switch it on hold there to power it up and we'll put it on to put it on to power mode 2 and away we go so it's a very very gentle smooth pull away the throttle isn't snatchy or anything like that and very very easily up to 15 mile an hour 16 without any problem at all top speed on power mode 2 is about 22 miles an hour let's just slow it down a little bit just have a little cruise so this is a gravel track it's quite hard packed a little bit bumpy and this suspension is really good on this scooter you know for what you're getting for your money here for 600 odd pounds it's a very good performing scooter it's solid there's no shakes or rattles or anything like that we'll just uh we'll just try a little brake test out from 20 mile an hour front and rear together yeah obviously we'll try it later on down at a uh, pool harbor we'll take on a tarmac cycleway but the bars a nice little width apart right so i've just put it into power mode three now you can instantly feel that extra power now very easily up to 25 it will do just over 30 mile an hour flat out it's just nice to cruise like this really impressed with this suspension gives a very smooth ride and obviously you've got the um dual purpose tires which are, which are really good on this sort of off-road gravel yeah the, the deck is nice size got plenty of room to move about on but the main thing is that this scooter just gives a really nice smooth ride so it's you know it's definitely off-road capable with with decent performance let's go down to Paul Harbour and try it on some tarmac cycleways down there and take it up a few hills we're just going to see now how the G2 Max handles a hill uh, this is about a 20% about a 1 in 5 I've got it on power mode 3 let's see how it, let's see how it does Seventeen miles an hour, eighteen, nineteen. <laughs> so that's good. It's absolutely flown up there with no problems at all. So we're just down at Paul Harbour now on one of my favourite little cycleways. Nice smooth tarmac. Let's see how the uh, G2 Max performs on here. Power mode three. Very very smooth r running. Just try a quick brake test at 20 miles an hour. Very good, no problems there. Uh, this does have a cruise control function that you can turn on with the P settings. But just for sort of gentle cruising like this, 17, 18 miles an hour, it's really, really effortless. Very impressive. It's quick to steer. Feels very solid, that's what impresses me most about it feels well put together and just give it a bit of power there you go there's an easy 25 miles an hour front brake on its own feels good back brakes good as well oh we're just uh wrap it up down here guys and have a little final thoughts so if you're looking for a, a sort of a, a well-priced scooter which performs well very smooth it's got a decent turn of speed on it you may want to give one of these a little look all right let's just uh let's wrap it up here shall we So there you have it guys, Kukurin G2 Max electric scooter, very well priced, 
and decent build quality um, very impressed with that so we just run through all the controls again so to just to power it up we just hold there it's got a nice LCD display should get around about 30 miles out of this range got three different power levels up to around about 30 miles an hour indicators horn and lights which is a nice touch um, adjust the handlebars up and down I do like the uh, the folding mechanism here it's very solid there's no there's no flex in the stem these uh, dual purpose tires perform really well on and off-road very good suspension very compliant nice and plush over the bumps do like this rubberized deck nice and grippy it's nice and big as well plenty of room to move around but all the fixtures and fittings all the nuts and bolts you know it's a decent scooter for the money rear drive motor thousand watts obviously indicators brake light preload adjustable shocks on this I do like the orange it looks it sort of pops quite a bit doesn't it so mechanical disc brakes but they're absolutely fine for this sort of performance scooter takes about eight hours to charge overnight got your little charging port there but all in all very impressive little scooter so the link's in the description guys if you want to take a look at it and um, please feel free to share this video don't forget to give me a like share and subscribe as always and i'll catch you again in a week or so for another review take care guys ride safe and bye for now